some Jewish teachers from Jerusalem went to Antioch. They started teaching the members of the church there that a person had to obey Jewish laws in order to be saved. <laughs> Paul and Barnabas were shocked when they heard this and tried to straighten out this teaching, but it only caused an argument. Finally, the church leaders decided they needed to get some guidance on this from the apostles in Jerusalem. So they sent Paul and Barnabas, along with several other church leaders, to Jerusalem. Once they got there, they, they uh, told the believers there about how enthusiastically the Gentiles were receiving the gospel of Christ. Some of the Pharisees among the believers responded by saying, it's wonderful that they have received Christ as their Savior, but now they must be circumcised and taught to obey the laws of Moses. Well, this caused a lot of discussion. Finally, the leaders of the church there realized that for the work of God to prosper, they needed to solve this problem. It was decided that they would meet together and not leave until they knew the will of God in this matter. As they met, at one point, Peter stood up and said, I was the first one to take the gospel to the Gentiles. God forgave their sins and gave them the Holy Spirit. I don't think God would be pleased if we required them to do things that we Jews are not able to do ourselves. Listen to what I say. It's only by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that we have forgiveness of sins, both Jews and Gentiles. Paul and Barnabas shared with the group on the wonderful things that God was doing among the Gentiles, the, 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 the miracles and the wonders. Finally, James stood up and said, Here is my advice. It's not right for us to put our rules on the Gentiles. Instead, let's give them three simple commandments to obey. First of all, they should not eat anything that was sacrificed to idols. Secondly, they should stay away from immorality. Third, they shouldn't eat blood or anything that was strangled. Well, the, the church membership agreed with this advice. So they decided to write a letter and send it to Antioch. They sent the letter with Paul and Barnabas, and then they sent a few other believers along to verify that this letter truly did come from them. One of those men was Silas. When they got to Antioch, they gave the letter to the church leaders, who in turn read it to the congregation. <laughs> the membership of the church there received the letter with joy. They were encouraged when they heard about the freedoms that they had in Christ.